Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to test for an equation's origin symmetry. So, what does origin symmetry mean? Well, I've drawn a little picture here of a graph of an equation that actually does exhibit origin symmetry. So, the origin as we know is the center point of a Cartesian coordinate system which is 0, 0, right? 0, 0 is the origin. Now, a graph of an equation has origin symmetry if, if reflected at, on this point, it creates a mirror image on the other side of the uh, coordinate system. Okay, this is a little hard to visualize, but there's a bit also a mathematical, analytical way to test for this. You don't even need to see the graph, but just to give you a visual representation of a curve that does have origin symmetry uh, here's here's a picture of one that does okay so let's start with the function or the equation of a graph and let's move forward with an example y equals 2x cubed minus x now if we're given this equation and we're asked to find whether this graph has or this equation has origin symmetry, the way we go about it is we replace x and y with negative x and negative y. Okay? Everywhere you see an x, you replace it with a negative x and a negative y. Okay? And then you want to see whether the equation that results from this replacement is actually the same equation that we started with. Now let's go ahead and start and we'll see what happens. So wherever we see a y, we're going to put a negative y. And I'll use a different color. And wherever we see an x, we're going to put a negative x. Okay, make sure if there's an exponent, you put that negative x in parentheses. Minus negative x. <coughs> okay, now let's proceed by and just simplify this equation. We have negative y equals, ne well, negative x cubed is negative x because if you uh, if you multiply negative x by negative x you get positive x and then if you multiply it by one more negative x you get back to negative x so this whole thing becomes negative 2x cubed and this becomes a negative and a, ne a negative becomes a positive so we get plus x now all we need to do is get this y uh, in a different, in a positive form, and the way you could do that is a little trick, actually, in algebra. If you change the sign of the y to a positive y, then you have to change the sign of everything in the equation. So this becomes positive 2x cubed, and this becomes negative x. Okay, so that's a little trick, and if you miss that, all I did was I changed this to a positive, and if I do that, then I have to change every other sign to the opposite of what it was. Okay? So, negatives become positives, positives become negatives. And what do we get here? We get y equals 2x cubed minus x. After we uh, switched, replaced xy with negative x and negative y, we see that we get the same equation that we started with. And if this is so, it's passed the test of origin symmetry. And we can say that this equation exhibits symmetry about the origin. And actually, this is kind of a rough sketch over here of what this equation would look like. It's a curve that has, a, uh, that would, if reflected about the point zero, zero, the origin, would exhibit symmetry. Okay, so this is how you test for it. Now, make sure to watch the videos on 
y-intercept symmetry and x-intercept symmetry to understand the difference between these different types of symmetries. Okay? Make sure to subscribe and check out the other math tutorial videos and comment. Till next time, have a great day.